Breaking news. Peter Obi would have visited Mobad's family, but election is not around the corner, says Reno Omokri. My country people, Reno don't come again oh, with another banger. I can tell that Reno doesn't get tired of, you know, dragging Peter Obi. Reno never gets tired of dragging Peter Obi on social media over little things. Now, the former presidential media aide, Reno, has claimed that Peter Obi, the flag bearer of the Labour Party in the 2023 presidential election, would have visited the family of Mubad if there was an upcoming election. Mubad, as we all know, is a fast rising musical artist, musician, and he died last week, Tuesday after reportedly receiving injections for an ear infection and was hurriedly buried in the Kurudu Lagos State on Wednesday. After the burial of Mobad, a lot of Nigerian youths have been raising questions on what led to the death of Mobad and why he was hurriedly buried by the family. I mean, Mobad, according to many, would have still been alive. Had it been, they gave him little time. We saw the way Mobad was, you know, horridly buried and all of that. A lot of people were raising questions, justice for Mobad, protests hitting the streets, demanding justice for the life of this young man that was wasted. You know, according to many, people have been dragging Naira Mali, uh, Sablari, others in connection to the you know awful dismissal of this young uh, Nigerian musical mu- uh, musical artist Mubad, and now since the news of his demise, you know since the news of his demise was made public, celebrities, fans, other Nigerians have reacted to the shocking you know uh, death of this guy. Waiting in, Reno Mokri said, if the incident had happened before the presidential election. Definitely, Peter Obi would have paid Mobad's family a visit. He stated this in a post by X, formerly Twitter on Monday night. Sadly, the truth is that if this were before the election, Obi would have visited Mobad's family by now. He would have posted about it. He may even have shared some crocodile tears and perhaps donated some money. But you see, the election is over. And Mobad is, is not from a, a certain part of Nigeria. I mean, he's not even a member of the Labour Party. No, he's, in a, he, he's not an obedient. So there's no need for P2B to even pretend that he cares. Because he doesn't. Certainly, Mobad is not from the southeast region of Nigeria. Mobad is not an obedient. Mobad is not a strong supporter of the Labour Party. And the elections is over. So, P2B doesn't care. But had it been, had it been, it were to be an electionary period. That was before the presidential election. Definitely, Obi would have found his way to Mobad's house to visit the family, to pay his condolences to them and to wish them well. Even donate money, as the case may be. But Obi has seen that, oh, the elections is over. No need. Because Obi is fond of doing eye service, according to Reno Mokri. Reno, who has been a very strong critic of Obi on social media. Before the general election, the campaign team of, of the Labour Party accused the former presidential aide of using the party's candidate's name to, to remain relevant on his social media. The Obi campaign team named the Obidati movement in a statement, had described Reno Omokri as a frustrated man, as a man that is highly frustrated and is just using Obi to seek political relevance so his voice can be heard. His voice can only be heard if, you know, he, he, he taunts Obi's name and drags his name on social media. Guys, this is really interesting. I mean, this same Reno Mokri who have been dragging OB on issues that doesn't even consign Peter OB, but 
uh, Reno Mokri is always fond of dragging Obi at any slightest, you know, provocation, at any slightest thing that we know, you know, is not even co in connection to Peter Obi. Reno Mokri is always there to call out Obi's name. Now he has done it again, calling Obi over Moba's death, saying, uh, had it been, you know, it were to be an electionary period, the campaigns, Obi would have found his way into Moba's family's house. He would have pretended to pay a condolence visit to them just to show that he cares. But he certainly he doesn't care because now the elections are over. Obi doesn't have anywhere to go. All those while he was going around, moving from one place to another, even where they did not call him, he would go. It was because he was definitely looking for votes. But now he feels, oh, no need to do such a thing. The elections are over. You know, all these are coming in because a lot of people, senators, you know, politicians, prominent figures in this country and celebrities have been throwing weight on this Mobad case, on this Mobad issue, the controversy that surrounds Mobad's, um, you know, recent death and how a lot of people have also been trained with on this. Let's not forget, the traditionalists are also involved. Some have vowed to go to far extent to make sure they fish out those that have hands in the untimely death of Mobad. But uh, Peter B, however, you know, didn't react much to Mobad's, you know, death. Unlike uh, Peter Obi, according to Reno Mokri, who is always pop-nosing, doing busybody here and there, going where he's not needed, you know, just to make sure he gets votes from the masses, from the people. So, personally, I think Reno Mokri, you know, actually has a personal grudge with Peter Obi. You know, outside all the political differences, the fights, the drags, online i think reno mokri has you know a beef with peter obi because this grudge he has really run deep you know through reno mokri to an extent he's dragging obi over little things so guys what are your thoughts on this do you really think that oh had it been we were you know we are at electionary period during the campaigns obi would have Definitely paid a, a, a visit to Mobad's family. Guys, Nigerians have reacted. Why is Peter will be your problem now? This person paying you for this nonsense will abandon you as they have done to your brother, Amechi. Some people are just stupid. Reno, what are you saying? It seems that Reno Mokri wants an appointment. And he's trying to use Obi to get this appointment. Ibo's needs to separate from all these tribes. Okay, Mr. Reno, I know you're making sense, but don't talk anything about Peter B. If you don't talk anything about Peter B, you won't be okay. Peter B is among those people who are politicians. So do you expect him to be roaming around because of Mobad? Politicians are looking for votes. Politicians are looking for how to win people's hearts. Then what do you expect? Okay, guys, these are reactions from Nigerians. So my country people, I'm dropping here. Can you share your thoughts on this in the comment section? Thank you.